Welcome back to Oakland Basketball Halftime here on the Real Team Real Estate Radio Network. As promised, we're joined with part two of our two-part discussion with Dr. Ramsey Shehab from Henry Ford Health Systems, uh, the sports team doctor for the Pistons. And uh, last time we talked, he, he mentioned he, he's more of a, I guess you would say, a COVID general now than, than anything else. But but Dr. Shehab, you know, and, and we broke down the COVID stuff last game, but I did want to get into this too because, again, I just kind of – put everything, compare it to what I do in my daily life. I find myself working out at home all the time now, uh, the treadmill, everything like that, which has been nice, right? There, there's some there's some benefits to it. I just walk downstairs and, and get my work in. However, what I have noticed is it's a little bit easier now to push things a little bit further. You know, what, what, what are you guys seeing in terms of, you know, quote unquote, sports injuries from the everyday uh, weekend warrior that's now working out a little bit more maybe than they were before? It's kind of been all over the place, uh, to tell you the truth. You know, we've we've seen uh, weekend warriors that don't get to do what they want to do anymore just because they don't have the access to the machines and the equipment. And we've seen others on the other spectrum where they do too much. Unfortunately, when you don't have access to a gym or when you have kind of limitations, you're, you, you can't prep your body uh, properly for a workout. So sometimes you don't warm up properly. Sometimes you don't stretch properly and you overdo it. Um, as you know, COVID has been a big mental uh, health burden as well as a physical burden to my, to other uh, to to others. So um, that that mental burden has um, caused uh, some to to want to use uh, fitness as an outlet, and sometimes we do too much, uh, too fast, and that's when we can get ourselves in trouble. Uh, well, when you look at it, Doc, I mean, what are some of the things that people can do? I mean, I know the stretching, and look, I raised my hand. I'm guilty. I'm, I'm probably position 1a of the guy that's just going to go down and get the work in so i can get the work done uh and move on you know stretching chris curran our our train our athletic trainer at oakland's always getting on me about about the stretching and stuff like that too what what can i do how can i get myself to do this doc yeah good thing you just got to make it part of your whole routine and the stretching is probably not as important as the, as the warming up warming up is probably the most important thing that you want to do so you want to get a brief warm up get the get your body temperature up get the the blood flowing get your joints kind of lubricated a little bit then you want to do a little bit of a dynamic stretch which means stretch and move at the same time as opposed to a static stretch in which you're sitting in the same position and stretching so you know i just it, it's kind of a mental thing in my head at least when i work out no hey first thing just do a general warm-up a light bike something like that to get the blood flow if you don't have a bike just do jumping jacks something just to get the blood flowing then just kind of move and stretch try to to stretch the 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 muscle groups especially that you're going to work out and then go into your workout unfortunately make things longer you know a 30 minute workout tends up taking 40 to 45 minutes and sometimes we don't have time to do that and that's when we get ourselves in trouble but at, at the end of the day what i tell my patients um you know the the fitness journey is a marathon it's not a sprint and in order to be a you know, participant in that marathon you have to do the baby things and do take the baby steps and do the little things Dr. Ramsey Shehap here from Hemford Health Systems joining us, team doctor for the Pistons, also working closely with Chris Curran and, and the Oakland staff as well. So, Doc, I do have to ask you this. This is a little bit off the board, but this unique uh, kind of setup for the Horizon League here where we play back-to-back games, as people heard part one of our interview yesterday, they're hearing part two here today. What's the biggest challenge for the players in that? Because a, a lot of times you're talking about two games and, uh, heck, a, a stretch of you know, 36 hours it can be at times. How, how do those guys deal with that? What, what's the number one thing they have to do? Yeah, uh, re- recovery is uh, is an almost non-existent. You know, uh, when you maximally exert yourself, you need time to recover. So um, it, Chris has got his hand. Chris and his team has his hands full. Had their hands full in trying to to make sure that these guys are uh, are taking their um, taking all the necessary precautions to avoid injury. So. Um, they're hydrating, they're warming up, they're stretching properly, um, they're sleeping, they're taking, um, you know, uh, all the right nutritional stuff, and, and we're lucky enough to have a great dietitian um, who works with us and also works with the Pistons, uh, Carrie Eprick, who uh, kind of monitor, monitors their nutrition, which helps us out uh, immensely. So it's a team effort. Um, you know, this, uh, this pandemic, I think, is gotten uh, the sports medicine uh, teams closer because we've had to to work better better together as a team to make sure the athletes stay healthy 
Well, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sheehab, I, I certainly do appreciate your time, your willingness to do this and really shed some light on everything that is going on behind the scenes, everything that you guys have had to deal with. You're a great sport about it. And uh, again, I, I know for Oakland fans, for the Oakland program as well, just thank you, thank you, thank you again for, for all the work that you guys are doing because literally we could not do this without you. So thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. It's uh, It's been a great experience and uh, good to be part of the Oakland team. When we come back, I'll get you caught up with scores from around the Horizon League, the stats, and more. You're listening to Golden Grizzlies Basketball on the Real Team Real Estate Radio Network.